Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia aka Call Me Crafty Owl and I am here today on the Not Too Shabby channel to show you how to make a pair of quick and easy cards using some goodies from the latest card kit and a couple vellum card bases. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the Not Too Shabby channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. We're so glad you're here again. Since I haven't had a chance yet to use the Believe in Magic stamp set from the latest kit, I wanted to stop by today and use that. But because this stamp set is sold out along with the kit itself, I will also be creating a card using the Hugs and Fishes stamp set so you can see that you can apply this technique to whatever stamp set you have. Now if you weren't lucky enough to get one of the card kits, you will definitely want to get signed up for next month because I have the kit in my hot little hands and I am bugging out. It's so cute. So I will have a link to the subscription page in the description box below. Now you can either just buy a single kit after it comes out or you can go ahead and subscribe and save a little more money. Besides these pieces from the kit, I will also be using a couple heavyweight vellum card bases from my stash. This is 36 pound vellum and it does stand up and especially when we're going to add more stuff to the inside. As I go along with the process, I will be adding other products and tools and I will let you know what those are in the voiceover. As always, if I ever leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! To get started today, I'm going to be doing the stamping, so I pulled in the two stamp sets, my Misty and the vellum card bases. I will be stamping on this with Versamark and heat embossing with detail white embossing powder. Normally I would start with cutting papers, but because today I'm going to be using some glitter glue, I decided to start with the stamping. First of all, I placed that large sentiment as best as I could centered in the front of the card. And once I had that set up, I used my embossing buddy on the front of the card so the powder only sticks to where I want it. And then I made sure to ink up that stamp nice and juicy. I want to make sure that it's going to stick well to this vellum. Once that was all stamped, I poured on my powder and I actually set this to the side because I want to heat set these both at the same time. The next card front went basically the same way, except this time I used the two seahorses and the two sets of bubbles. Now I originally set it up at the one height, but I decided that because of my inner card was going to be a little bit lower than the top, that when I went to stamp the piece finally, you'll notice that I moved the card base up about a quarter of an inch. Once I had powder on both of the card fronts, I warmed up my heat tool off camera for probably about 40 seconds. I wanted to make sure that when I brought it into the vellum that it would melt that powder really quickly. You'll notice I heated it from behind and then I brought a little heat back to the front just to help a little bit with the wrinkling and the warping. Since the card fronts were pretty plain, I wanted to add a little sparkle, so I brought in stickles in yellow and blue. I'm going to add a little bit to each card front, and later the color that I chose for the card will coordinate with the pattern paper card on the inside. 
With the yellow, I put a little bit in the center of the stars. I tried to spread it out with a nozzle, and then to finish spreading it out, I brought in an old embossing tool. This way I can push it into the center of the stars. I did the same thing over on the seahorse card, but I used the blue this time, and I just put a dot in each bubble and spread those out if needed. I set these to the side for about 30 minutes to dry completely. While those were off to the side drying, I brought in my slimline paper pad and I chose the yellow and blue glitter to make the inner cards for my vellum pieces. I just brought in this piece of white cardstock to show you what it will look like. It will be a top fold. Because when these pieces are folded, they're four and a half inches tall, I brought in a trimmer and I cut them so they were three and a quarter inches wide. And this will leave perfect borders on the inside. Now, if you wanted to use the same color glitter for each of your cards you could actually make two card fronts from one piece and just use white cardstock for that inner card base. This allows me with this on the inside to write a personal message that will be hidden from the front. I wanted to add a sentiment to my seahorse card, so I got out a scrap of blue cardstock and I will be stamping and heat embossing in white the hugs and fishes sentiment from the stamp set. While I'm working on that, I thought it would be a great time to stop by with the QOTV or the question of the video. These are just fun little questions I like to put out there to get to know a little bit more about you and share a little bit more about myself. Today, since I'm working on some ocean themed cards, I would like to know, would you rather take a vacation to the beach or to the mountains? You can answer this question in the comment section below and make sure to include the hashtag, hashtag QOTV, so I know that you've answered and would like me to see it. This is a pretty hard one for me to choose between. I love going on cruises and sitting under, you know, umbrellas on the beach and relaxing. But right now, one of my favorite family vacations ever was when my husband, daughter, and I went to Colorado. I would love to go back there. I love the cool weather right now and just all of the beautiful nature. I wanted to take a little bit off the sides of the sentiment, so I brought in my Fiskars photo trimmer and this punch from Stampin' Up that you can punch a fishtail and a reverse fishtail in skinny pieces. What I do first is line up the edge of my sentiment with the line that notes this three quarters of an inch. That way I'll have even on the left and right if I line up both sides to that same line. Then when that's done, I bring in the punch and I actually did not cut this at the correct size to use my punch, but I decided to make it work. So what you do is just flip the punch over and center that as best as you can in the opening. And I think it turned out all right in the end. Even after letting the stickles sit for a little bit while I did the rest of the cards, it was a little tacky, so I just made sure as I placed the inner card in each of those card bases to be super careful with that. After I put these together, I did make sure to sit them aside again in a safe spot. To finish off the blue glitter card, I added that sentiment to the front with some ATG adhesive, and here's a look at the finished cards. I really like to use vellum bases so it's something different and you get just a little peek at what is on the inside. Heat embossing in white just kind of adds a tone on tone look. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's cards using the latest not too shabby kit mermaids and friends. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until the next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.